Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my channel. This is Tessa's Tarot and my name is Tessa. Um, this is going to be your October 2020 Tarot and Oracle reading. I do have a couple announce announcements that I want to make before I get started with your reading. Um, they're kind of more personal announcements but they are in relation to the channel and to the videos that I do here so I thought it was relevant. <laughs> um, I did definitely just find, um, I did if you are a returning subscriber or new to my channel, um, I changed my setup around a couple of times since I started my YouTube channel back in June. And I finally found, because the last couple of videos, uh, you see a different background. You actually see my curtains in the background because I was testing things out and I decided I didn't like how it looked with the curtains in the background, especially because I couldn't do tarot readings during the day because the sun just created the worst lighting, um, the way that it was coming through. And you couldn't see anything. You couldn't see anything. So I'm like, okay, I need to find another way, okay? So I moved... Uh, so I moved my table around and I was like, you know what, I feel like this is the best way because it's either going to be my bed in the background or it's going to be my dresser and like just kind of like little random things in the background. So I actually really like the setup so I hope this is going to be okay with you guys. I find this to be the best, uh, the best setup. So let me know. I have some... I have some baby plants right now that my stepmother brought over for me when I moved in that I'm growing. And once those plants get really big, I'm going to be really, really excited. I can maybe like put it right over here behind me because I do enjoy the look of plants. Um, so yeah, so I do apologize for like the constant rearranging. Um, but, you know, the most important thing is that you know, when I do my readings that I feel the most um, kind of in harmony with my surroundings and with, you know, the, the webcam and the computer and everything. Everything just needs to feel right, you know, because that's going to be the best way. That's how I am going to put my best reading forward when I feel like every, and that's just like part of who I am as a person. Like, I just like to keep my house organized. I like things to be kind of like in harmony and in sync. And especially because I just got back from Chicago, I just got back to Chicago this like just a few weeks ago from Vegas. I was in Vegas for two months. So just getting back on track and kind of just getting the house back in order. It's, it's a whole adventure and journey in and of itself. Okay, so I'm going to stop rambling about my table <laughs> and my and my arranging OCD. Um, so the other little announcement I want to make is I did get a new webcam. So this webcam I'm hoping is going to be so much better. I already like it way better than the old webcam that I had. So I'm really happy that came, that came in today. And also this new oracle that came in today as well. It's the Vintage Wisdom Oracle. I still have to look at the name of it, but I have had my eye on this oracle deck for a while now. And I finally bought it and I'm so, so, so happy. I have, a, I have other oracle decks. Um... I already have other oracle decks, but I've been wanting this deck. And the moment I opened it, like, it, and I like, put it in my hands and just shuffled through it, like, I just felt instantly connected to it. I don't know if it's the images. I don't know if it's, like, the whole vibe. There's kind of, you know, it. De they definitely have a vintage vibe. There's a, kind of, like, a ghostly feel to it. But also just the, just the very simple, like, words... Um, I just feel very, very connected to this deck already, and I just started using it tonight. This is my first night using it, so that's a really good sign. So I was really excited to use this deck and to start incorporating oracle cards into my reading, just to kind of get a little bit more of a guided, thorough message. And I also changed the tarot spread um, from the past. So I'm going to lay out three oracle cards on the top and then we're going to pull out three tarot cards for each oracle card. Okay. So there's going to be a total of nine tarot cards. Um, and I do read, I do read in the sense of the present and then I jump into the past and then we go into the future and then we kind of see how they interconnect with each other. All right. I'm also drinking some wine. I hope you guys don't mind that I'm sipping on some wine. It's Serbian red wine. Semi-sweet. So that is my message for you. My intro message. I think that's pretty much just about all I wanted to 
say in regards to my announcements. So let's get started with your reading, Sagittarius, for October 2020. See what is going on with you. I'm so excited to be back on YouTube. Oh my God. September was a break. <laughs> I didn't do anything in September. I did one tarot reading, I think. Gratitude. Gratitude. Really appreciating where you're at in this present moment. Okay. I'm a Sagittarius myself. So, yeah. Really, gratitude is really about appreciating where you're at at this particular moment in your life, at this stage in your life. Um, the things that are surrounding you, the little things, you know, just kind of being grateful. In the past, we have healing. Okay. So there's been some healing going on lately. If you're like me, you've probably been through a lot this year, okay? So there's definitely some healing energy going on over here in your recent past. Taking much needed time to rest, rejuvenate, kind of recharge your batteries, maybe heal some old wounds from the past, things that were um, not fully 100% kind of taken care of. And then we have discernment. Okay, so really kind of examining things in the future for October. Really kind of taking a look and examining something that is going on in your life or something that is going to happen in your life. Something that's going to come forward in your life, okay? So it, when you look at this, this and this card is really cool. You know, when I like I told you, I just got this Oracle deck today, so I didn't really look at the, the details of all the cards, you know. And I almost kind of like it that way better because then things just kind of jump out at you and you start to really um, notice little things about the cards um, as you start reading them. But with this discernment card, you see this, um, this first girl has her mouth covered, okay. The second girl has her eyes covered. And then the third girl has her ears covered, okay? So it's really it's really about learning to see things in different ways. Learning to listen. Learning to learning to listen without talking. Learning to see or learning to um to see without like without seeing. I know that sounds really silly, but like learning to see things in a new way. And then with the girl who has her ears covered, it's kind of like learning um, about movement, learning about body, body language. Um, so it's really just about evaluating um, things in a new way. Evaluating things in a new way, uh, analyzing things in a new way, okay? So we're gonna see what's gonna come up with the tarot cards, see what's going on right there. Got some healing recently. I love this uh, gratitude card for the present moment. You know, being in that present moment, being grateful for what you have, for where you're at, for the little things in life. It's very beautiful. So let's see what is going on. And then for the tarot deck, I am using Influence of the Angels, my favorite tarot deck. I adore this deck. Adore, adore, adore. All right. Magician, Ooh. manifestation, you are manifesting something right under gratitude. You know what you have, you are in full, you are appreciating, you, you've got self-love, you've got gratitude, you've got self-love, you've got appreciation, um, and you... 
you're ready to bring in that abundance. You're ready to bring it. You've done your healing from the past. You know what you need to do in the future. And you're, you're ready to bring in what you know you deserve. Okay. With this magician card here, Mercury, you are ready to bring in what you know you deserve. You have the tools, the lovers. <laughs> Sagittarius. Wow. Gemini. Three of Swords. Oof. Yikes. Saturn and Libra. Okay, so... Hmm. <laughs> All right, so maybe we're bringing in somebody from the past. Someone who... maybe has caused some pain for you okay or maybe you're trying to manifest you want to manifest a new beginning with somebody i feel like this is a warning though like be careful and that's why this discernment card is here, you know, because this person has caused some heartbreak in the past. You know, this person has really hurt you. And this is why you pulled this healing card. This healing card from your past. <sighs> Let's see. Okay, I'll tell you the cards that I'm, I'll tell you the cards that I'm pulling, don't worry. All right. Oh, boy. <laughs> Sagittarius. Okay, so, so for the present moment, for gratitude, we have the Magician card, which is Mercury. We have the Lover's card, which is Gemini. And then we have the Three of Swords, which is Saturn and Libra. So, what... Oh my goodness, who keeps messaging me? Leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you right now. <laughs> um, so it looks to me like you really want to manifest a new beginning with someone that you have very, very strong feelings for, okay? Somebody that you you feel a very, very strong, there's somebody that you feel a very, very strong connection with. This person has hurt you though, okay? This person has hurt you in the past, has caused you pain, um, you feel like you're strong, you know, you did your healing, you went through what you needed to go through um, so you could heal those wounds and so you can uh, manifest a new beginning, okay? So that's what I'm seeing over here. Um, and you know, you know your experience with this person, okay? So, you know, just... You know, this is why we're going to, um, you're going to need, um, to really take a different kind of approach. You know, you're really going to need this, um, discernment of being able to really analyze and see things in, in new ways. Okay. See things in new ways, because I definitely see, um, a person coming up in your future. And I don't know if this is the same person that you're trying to manifest because you are trying to manifest um, a, you know, a lover situation. You're trying to manifest, um, some intimacy here. You're trying to manifest this connection. Um, so in your recent past under this healing card over here, we have the moon, which is Pisces energy. Okay. So I'm definitely seeing Pisces over here. Uh, we have Pisces, uh, queen of pentacles. We have Capricorn. I do see this more as you, Okay, it could represent your partner, but I'm I definitely seeing this more as you you kind of standing in your um you taking you taking the time that you needed to heal, especially because there was a lot of oh my goodness, I'm getting hiccups. There was a lot of illusions kind of surrounding the situation. There was a lot of secrets and illusions surrounding the situation. You really needed to stand in your element and you really needed to kind of become this queen of pentacles and be in your home and take the time that you needed to heal and really kind of come up as that strong uh that strong independent um 
person who, you know, is going to focus on her work, her home, and just the things that she needs to do, the things that she needs to do around her house, you know, you are really, and with the Seven of Pentacles over here, Saturn and Taurus, um, you know, you were really getting deep into projects, you know, home, and I'm, I'm sensing like home projects. Uh, you're really getting into these, um, this, this project that you've been working on, uh, whether it was things around the house, I'm getting things around the house. Um, also, maybe you're figuring out new ways to make money, ways to work from home, uh, ways to kind of advance your skills to become more skilled in a certain job that you're doing. Okay, and you were and you were using that as healing time as well. You know, to focus on yourself and really kind of put yourself on a new path. <sighs> yeah. But I'm definitely but with this with this Knight of Cups over here, you know, I'm I'm feeling like you you do have somebody that you care about very much. You know, there there is somebody in your life that you really you know, that your heart is, your, your heart is wrapped up in, okay, <laughs> your heart is wrapped up in, um, and you're, you're such a caring, loving individual, you know, you'll, when you really want somebody, and you love somebody, you'll give them multiple chances, and you'll kind of, you know, you'll, you have the ability to think creatively, to think outside the box, to, to think of new ways of doing things, and, with this Ace of Wands over here, that's exactly what I'm seeing, especially with it coming up under the future element with the discernment card over here. And discernment is all about um, really looking at things, really, really looking at things. But this is also about creating. So it's like you're really analyzing and you're really looking at things from different perspectives um, and analyzing, you know, different um, methods and approaches, but it's also about kind of like paving your own path and using creativity and using your power, the power of your imagination to kind of think outside the box and think of a new way to kind of approach the situation. So that's really cool. And, and then with the magician card over here, you know, I'm definitely, I'm definitely feeling that. I'm definitely feeling that. And you know, this connection, you know, th th it's like this person does these things that hurt you, but the connection in and of itself, and generally speaking, he, this person makes you very happy, okay? So we do have the sun card over here. Um, so the situation and the feelings that you, you know, you have these very, very deep feelings for this person, and generally speaking, it makes you very, very happy to have those feelings. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel good. And I do see happiness in your future. I do see this sun coming up over here with with a new beginning. You know, and I and I mean Knight of Cups, Pisces, um, you know, the Knight of Cups is, you know, he's a lover. He's a lover. He's romantic, maybe a poet, you know, a musician. Maybe not though, you know, maybe he's just he's just really romantic, but I see a new beginning coming for you with this with this connection and it looks like you're gonna take a new approach it looks like you're really gonna think about things in a new way um, and try to be a little bit more maybe open um, maybe a little bit more like imaginative creative open and maybe just try to listen and um, listen and learn without being so judgmental or without uh, being so quick to, you know, jump down their throat, <laughs> um, especially, you know, and the, the other thing that I want to say about this Three of Swords is sometimes, you know, sometimes it's like we create our own pain, you know, sometimes we create our own pain, it's like sometimes we set ourselves up to be hurt, and for what? Maybe, you know, we have too much expectation. So I, I also feel like this gratitude card is such a great reminder to just kind of appreciate and be grateful. Um, to just be grateful without always wanting more and without always expecting more. I know those Sagittarians, I mean, our, 
symbol is the archer and the archer shoots for the stars the archer like we're always thinking about the future. We're always thinking like, what comes next? Uh, what's the next step? You know, we always want to be on track with our goals. And sometimes uh, we forget to live in the moment. Um, so, you know, this could be a very, very good reminder to, to live in the moment and uh, to really just kind of be grateful and enjoy the present. Um, and that could definitely help in in regards to expectation and and not setting yourself up to be hurt you know but really 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 truly seeing seeing things for what they are you know just seeing things for what they are not putting a blindfold over your eyes all right Sagittarius so this is October 2020 for you. I hope this reading really helped. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this reading. I hope to see you guys again um, for future readings. I am definitely planning on posting more readings more often. September was just kind of like a big fluke because I was moving. But um, I hope to see you guys again and enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye-bye.